In the midst of the Civil War, a small town in the south had become a sanctuary for soldiers returning from the battlefield. The town was a temporary haven for the soldiers, where they could rest and recover before returning to the front lines. But as the war dragged on, the soldiers who had once returned alive and well began to return in a different form. It started with whispers and hushed rumors. Some of the town's people claimed to have seen the soldiers, pale and ghostly, wandering the streets at night. They said that the soldiers had come back from the dead, seeking refuge in the only place they had known peace. At first, the townspeople thought it was just their imagination playing tricks on them. But as the sightings became more frequent and more and more soldiers returned from the grave, the townspeople realized that something sinister was happening. It was said that the soldiers had come back to finish what they had started, to fight the war to the bitter end. And they were not alone. Along with the dead soldiers came other spirits, twisted and malevolent, drawn to the town by the smell of blood and gunpowder. The townspeople huddled in their homes at night, too terrified to leave, as the ghosts of the soldiers roamed the streets. Some claimed to have heard the sounds of battle in the distance, while others said they saw the ghosts marching in formation, their hollow eyes fixed on the town. But one night, a brave soul ventured out into the streets, armed with nothing but a lantern and a prayer. He walked through the deserted town, his footsteps echoing in the silence. And then he saw them. The ghosts of the soldiers, hundreds of them, marching down the street in perfect unison. Their faces were twisted in pain and anger, their eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. The man could hear their moans and cries, the sound of swords and guns clashing in the darkness. He ran back to his home, his heart pounding in his chest. But the ghosts followed him their ethereal hands reaching out to grab him, their voices howling in the night. The townspeople never saw the man again, but they knew that he had been taken by the ghosts. They could hear his screams in the night, and they knew that they were next. The town was abandoned soon after, the buildings left to crumble and decay. But the ghosts of the soldiers remained, haunting the deserted streets, waiting for new victims to join their army of the undead. And to this day, some say that, if you listen closely, you can still hear the ghosts of the soldiers marching in the night, their moans and cries carried on the wind.